Welcome back to my darkroom. Today we're going to look at the difference between Kodak Dektal and Ilford Multigrade Developer. So in previous videos, we've looked at formulas that you've had to mix from scratch. So this time, instead of weighing out materials, we're just going to measure out a small portion of the concentrate and dilute it directly with water. So this is one part solution uh, to nine parts water, or you can have one part concentrate to 14 parts water. And they have different developing times, but the results come out the same. Now, unlike Dectol and most of the other formulas we've used, this is not a metal hydroquinone formula. This is a phenidone hydroquinone formula. Now it doesn't exactly say phenidone, it's 1-phenol-4-methyl-4-hydroxymethyl-3-perazolidone, but that's not metal. So I'm going to say it is most likely a phenidone derivative, um, but those of you that are chemists can always chime in and tell me how wrong I am like a lot of you like to do anyway. Now. I don't, in anticipation of doing this, expect the results to be much different, if any different, than Dectol. So we'll see. What we might see, if the prints themselves don't look different, there may be a difference in exposure time. So we'll see. <clears throat> but I don't think we're going to have any kind of color change or anything like that. But that's just a prediction. We'll see after we make the prints. Now, this is the part where I would show you how to measure everything out. But, like I said, it's just one part concentrate to nine parts water. And if you would like to help support this channel so I can make more videos for you, then you can get a t-shirt such as this with Kodak Pony 35 cameras all over it, or a nice lab towel that you can use to clean and dry your darkroom. Now, let's go ahead and look at those prints. As usual, we're going to start with the... Ilford Classic and Dectol as our base. So this is the same print we've been looking at through all the videos. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at the multigrade version. All right, so here's the multigrade version. It looks just like the Dectol version. Um, so looking through all my usual spots, my upper mid-tones, my deep shadow, my overall contrast, it is exactly the same. I see no difference in those particular areas. I see no difference in color. Now, if you're seeing any variation on light, uh, I've got only one video light today, so it might have some fall off on the edges. But overall, I mean, looking at these, uh, it, it is pretty darn identical. Uh, even if I get in there and really just nitpick, I don't see a single thing that's different. So I would say they're, they're pretty interchangeable. That's good. I mean, they, they should be, honestly, because Dectol is a general purpose developer. Ilford Multigrade is a general purpose developer. So there is a tiny, tiny, tiny variation in exposure time, but that's all. Okay, I really don't have any more to say about this. So let's go ahead and look at the warm tone. All right, here's our warm tone print uh, in Dectol just as before. So let's look at the multigrade. Our contrast is the same. Our density is identical, but oddly, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm really kind of considering here. This print, the multi-grade print, looks slightly cooler than the Dectol. Only a smidge, and it's so small of a difference that I'm wondering if I'm actually seeing it or is it somehow the lights in this room? I don't think it is. I think this is slightly more brown than that. But 
These prints are re-wetted. They've been dried once already after I made them. And when they were dry, even under the same light, I did not see any difference whatsoever. Wet, it does look a little bit different, but you know what? When it's wet, it doesn't really matter. It's when they're dry that's more important. So wet, this looks slightly cooler than that, but when they dry down, there is no color difference. So again, I would say these two developers are interchangeable. So to be thorough, let's uh, let's just look at the multi-grade cool or uh, neutral next to multi-grade warm. All right, here's our classic and here's our multi-grade warm tone in the multi-grade developer for both. And I mean, this is clearly a warm print next to a neutral print. So there you have it. That is Ilford multi-grade. So, Let's back up the camera and summarize our thoughts here. And there you go. That's it. There's virtually no difference at all. In fact, the end result, there was no difference. Contrast is the same, color is the same, everything was the same. The only thing that I had to tweak just a little bit was exposure time. Both of these prints came from the same box of paper as my previous print. So that's not a batch to batch variation. It is simply the variable of developer. And my time changed from 12.8 seconds to 12.2 seconds. So that's a difference of what? 5% less than 5% uh, difference between the two. Very, very little change. So virtually identical. That means if you are in the middle of a printing session with one developer and you run out or it goes bad, you can switch to the other, tweak your time with a test strip just to make sure, and then just keep on going with no differences. Now, are there differences in toning? You'll have to test that. That's beyond the scope of this video. So we'll get to that another time. But from my own experience between these two developers, if you're using a relatively weak solution of selenium, such as one part to, uh, of selenium to 20 parts or 19 parts of water, you're not going to have any difference whatsoever. Eh, much stronger, one to three maybe, but I doubt it. So anyway, there you go. Those are the two developers. Get out there and start printing. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.